everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm going to make a junk journal page. I'm going to use some of the elements from the Christmas Peacock subscription box add-on items, as well as a stencil from the December Stencil Club. So let's get started here. Right off the bat, I've got a Bible page. It's approximately eight and a half by 11. And then I have the snowflake from the December stencil club. And if y'all didn't know, I offer a monthly stencil club and you can sign up at any time to get it. When you sign up, if there is a past month you want to receive for your first month, just say so in the comment field when you check out. All right, so I'm going to lay this inside my little box here. I, this was just a box I had laying around so that when I spray, the spray doesn't go everywhere. It stays contained in the box. I've got the blue, Peacock Blue from the Christmas Peacock Tattered Angel set. It's a set of six different colors that coordinate with the Christmas Peacock kit. So I'm shaking it up because it does have mica in the bottom. So we're shaking that up. And then I'm going to spritz this all over the stencil, through the stencil design, coating my paper. And of course, it's also going to coat the stencil as well. It's got a nice saturation of color. I'm going to grab a plain sheet of copy paper. I'm going to lay that on top of the stencil and what that's going to do, it's going to mop up that glimmer mist that's on top. So when you spray once, you get two out of it and depending on how you do it, you may even get more. I go ahead and I spray the back side. That way it's got a little bit of glimmer on the back side as well. And then I'll set this aside and it'll become a journal page that I can use in the journal. And then here is the Bible page with the snowflake on there. Isn't that pretty? Set this up out of the way for a moment. I've cut some one and a half inch by 11 inch strips, and I've got four of them. This is from a gel print that I made during my Mixed Media Live on Thursdays, and I scanned it in, and I've created it as a digital download. So if you are a YouTube person that has followed me and you've made donations during my live streams, you get it for free. And if you are a subscriber to one of my subscription boxes, you'll be able to get this as well. I'm using the shabby stitches and I'm gonna stitch down both sides from one side to the other and across the top like so. I'll also do the sides so that the whole rectangle has shabby stitches all the way around. I'm going to repeat that on the other three pieces. And while I have the shabby stitches out, I took another one of those gel plate prints that I scanned into my computer and I printed it and I've cut it in half. So this is four and a quarter by 11 inches and I'm going to go all the way around it with the shabby stitches. Next, I'm going to take some Distress Ink. This is Walnut Stain, and I'm going to go around all four, five of these pieces. All right, so I've got all those pieces ready to go. Next, what I want to do is I've got this strip that's part of the printed kit. You can also get it as a digital download in my shop. And when I put it on here, it's a little bit short, and I really need the whole width of it. So here's my idea that I came up with. I'm turning it over to the back side and I've got a little scrap of paper that I had trimmed off of when I was fussy cutting the items out. So I'm just going to take, oh, an inch, inch and a half, do two of those. And then I'm going to fold it in half. Okay. I'm going to do that again with this other one. So I'll have two pieces folded in half. And then I'm going to put glue on one side. And I'm going to glue it down right next to the edge here. So basically, I've glued that little piece down right there on the edge. I'm going to do that on the other side as well. And then what I do is I'll grab some transparent tape. So it's just some transparent tape. 
and just a little piece of it don't need a lot and I will place this over that little tab and it'll help keep that in place and it'll also keep papers from snagging on it when they go in and out okay so that's just help holding that down it's not always necessary but it's something I do I'm gonna go ahead and fold this page in half so I know where the center is and I'm going to fold the belly band in half so that's gonna go right here in the middle of my page and what I'm going to do is put just a little bit of glue on this little tab we just added and that's going to help me get the whole width of this belly band as a usable space in my journal. Then I'm going to take one of these blue strips and we're going to glue it across the top and we're going to glue another one across the bottom just using a Lean's Tacky Glue again. I'm going to flip this over and glue down blue strips at the top and the bottom here as well. And then I'm going to take this strip and it's going to go in the middle here. So I'm just going to adhere that down right in the middle. Alright, so let's finish decorating this side of the page. I've got a corner pocket that's part of the Christmas Peacock Kit. And I think it would look really good on this edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. Oh, I almost tried to glue it down as a whole element, not as a pocket. <laughs> going to glue it down as a pocket or corner tuck spot. Then I've got the word believe. It's a set of four stamps in my shop. It says believe, Merry Christmas, I think Santa Claus maybe and one other it's really cute but I thought it would look really cute to put it right here believe awesome and then I've got this jolly bright glass Christmas tree ornaments and I thought that would look kind of cute right here so I'm just gonna glue this one down and then I've got a little ornament that's part of the kit I thought it would look kind of cute down here in the corner this journal card is going to go in here it's a word search isn't that kind of fun so you've got christmas and mistletoe and stocking and garland lots of fun things and that'll go over here in this little pocket and then let's flip this back to this side this is a tutorial that you'll see in my uh, channel on how to make a journal card that's going to go over here i've got some fussy cut snowflake elements and one of them is going to go right here to kind of help keep that card from sliding all the way through and then I want to make a quick card for the other side this was a gel print that I had strips of and I stamped it with the post mark collage and then I pasted it to this little journal card I think it's about a four by four and a half by five maybe something like that and then I put some distress ink around the edges and then I've got this is a little snowflake there's a set of four I can't remember if it's holiday cube or something like that but I'll have a link in the description box and this is mermaid lagoon and I just want to stamp that just kind of randomly all over okay and then I've got this little sand the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Snowman. I thought that'd be really cute to place on here. And I'm going to put them down like it's a tuck spot. So only glue across one side and the bottom. And then that way, if you had a secondary piece of paper that you wanted to put with this, that you're making notes about your Christmas time activities, you have another space that you can put this. And then I've got a little saying here it says, Let it snow. I think that would look really cute. Let's put it right up at the top and you see the snowflake. In fact, let's add another snowflake below it. There. So we'll glue that in the corner. Like so. I hope you're enjoying my videos that I share. Do know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to take another one of these little smaller snowflakes and let's put it down here at the bottom.
So there is my journal card that, or journal page that I made with some journal cards in it using book pages, the printable or physically printed items from the Christmas Peacock. We used some Tattered Angels and a stencil. And then of course, these are some of my gel prints that I have made into a digital download and then rubber stamping. I love the way that shabby stitches looks. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing a tutorial on how to put together a junk journal page in a Christmas theme. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Of course, comment if you have any comments. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Do check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, as well as my other group, Island Israel on Facebook. Y'all have a fabulous day. Bye.